gracious. Well, gee, Mom, she's a pest. Why encourage her? Meredith, that's a new one, Jeff. Who is she? Meredith Penner. They just moved in. What a pest. <laughs> Jeff, you've made that point very clear. Well, Meredith sounded very sweet to me. What does she want? She wanted me to go to her party next Friday. Well, that doesn't sound too demanding. Well, gee, Ma, you go to a party and you just happen to say something friendly, and the next thing you know, you're going steady. And that's not for me. <laughs> Penner! Oh, that must be Don Penner's little sister. Oh, Mother, Don Penner! A dream. Oh, he's a rocket to the moon. Oh, please, Jeff, go to that party. If you're friendly with his little sister... I can't hear you. Oh, Jeff, I've been wanting to meet Don Penner for weeks. See, if you're friendly with his little sister, then, well, that gives me the perfect opportunity to just casually... Say I'm going to lock my... Just Jeff, to think I used to rock him to sleep when he was a baby. Don Penner. Mm-hmm. Well, honey, it's perfectly all right to be introduced by a mutual friend. Oh, Mommy, the, there's a kind of boy you're dying to meet. And, well, you just die if he knew it. And if someone introduced you, he would know it. Once upon a time, I was 14 years old. Was there a boy? Mm. His name was Ralph. What did he look like? Oh, my. He was uh, eight feet tall, and he could walk through brick walls. <laughs> Well, how did you act when he was in the same room with you? Uh, casual. I shook. <laughs> Ralph, did, did he ever ask you for a date? Yes, he called one night and um, invited me to a party. Were you casual? Oh, extremely. I fainted. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did you ever get over your crush on him? It was at the party. Not. A noble act. <laughs> how much did it cost you? Oh, well... I gave Jeff $7.95 for his electric motor, but... Well, I, I was planning on giving it to him for his birthday anyway. Out of the goodness of his heart and $7.95, Jeff made a deal to go to the party. Well, I offered to go to the party for nothing, but Mary just gave me the money because I was cooperative. <laughs> if you want an extra piece of cake for dessert tonight, it will cost you 35 cents. <laughs> get all dressed up to go to your own execution. Yeah, I'll bet you'll go to the party, you'll have a wonderful time, and you'll be glad you went. How much you want to bet? Well, honey, if you go with that attitude, you won't have a good time. So what? That's the only good thing about tonight. Hello. Yes, she is. Just a moment, please. Steve. Mary! Steve's on the phone. Honey, did you feel all right? Yeah. You know, the day we played in the Little League Finals, I had to get a strep throat. But tonight, I have to feel good. One of life's little ironies, Jeff. Would you like me to drive you? No, thanks, Dad. I'll walk around the block a few times. Maybe the party will break up early. <laughs> all right. Here's the present. Thanks, Mom. Well, how long can this go on? She wants me to go over to her house and do homework with her. I got my own life to lead. Well, honey, maybe you can explain to her tomorrow, very diplomatically, of course, that while well, you like her very much, you have so many outside activities that you won't have time. Well, what if she cries or something? Then I'll have to go on with it. Oh, poor darling. It's your fatal charm. <laughs> Hello, Jeff. Uh, Meredith, I uh, want to talk to you. I want to talk to you, Jeff. I hope you'll understand what I tell you. Well, you see, well, 